Hi, it's Dawn from the Jabani Crochet. Today I have for us to do the primrose stitch. This is a very pretty pattern. It's only a two row repeat. You can do this in a solid color or you can switch it up and do it in multiple colors. I just really think that this is a, a pretty stitch. It would make a nice um, baby blanket or um, washcloths whatever you would like to do with this stitch. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, and let's start making the primrose stitch. For today's tutorial, I'll be using an I 5.5 millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. The primrose stitch is in a multiple of three. For today's tutorial, I'll be using a chain of 21. We're going to start with a half double crochet, second chain from hook. The loop on your hook does not count. So one, two, and start with a half double crochet. We're going to skip the next chain, and in the next chain, we're going to do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Then we're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and repeat that cluster. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And we're going to repeat that pattern again all the way down the chain until we get to the last chain where we're going to skip one chain and do a half double crochet in the last chain. So one, two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. One, two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Repeat this pattern till you get to the end of the chain and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the chain. I'm at the end of the chain. I have two stitches left. We're going to skip one chain and in the last chain we're going to place a half double crochet. To start row two, we're going to chain up three, and turn the work. This counts as a double crochet. We're going to work three double crochets into each of the chain two spaces. Two, three. And we're going to repeat that in the next chain space. One, two, three. Continue working three double crochet into each chain space so you get to the end of the row and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row to show you how to end the row. I'm at the end of the row and we're going to place a half double crochet in that turning chain so you might have to turn your work a little bit to see that chain. It's right there. So place your hook into it like this. chain one and turn the work and we're going to half double crochet into that first stitch 
And now we're going to place a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the middle double crochet of each one of these clusters. So you find the middle one is what's right here. So one, two, and there's the center one. So that's when we're going to place our single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now we'll go to the next set and go right into the center one, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And there's our next set, same thing, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So please complete, continue this all the way to the end of the row and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row three and we're going to place a half double crochet at the top of the turning chain and this is where we're going to start our repeat. We're going to repeat row two, row three, to row two, row three for however long you want your pat your project to be. I like to end when I do this primrose stitch I usually end my project with row two because I like the way the double crochet round looks but if you like row three with the single crochet chain two round it doesn't matter which which one you would like to end your project on it makes no difference. So let's do another uh, repeat together. So to start row two again, we're going to chain up three and turn the work. We're going to place three double crochets into each chain two space. So that's one, two, and Two and three. So please repeat this pattern all the way across and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of my row two repeat and we're going to half double crochet in the top of that half double crochet from the previous row. To start our repeat of row three, we're going to chain one and turn the work. Half double crochet in that first stitch and now we're going to do our single crochet chain two single crochet cluster in the center double crochet of the double crochet cluster. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Go to the next one, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Please repeat this for the next four clusters and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to place my half double crochet into the top of the turning chain to end the row. And there is our primrose stitch. If you've liked this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already Go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye bye.